Hey loves, it's your girl Jo with a set and welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I am doing this sultry fall glam. I'm talking, this is like, I'm on my way to a gala glam. I'm on my way to an art show. I'm on my way to a ball. Yeah, fall balls, maybe. I don't know. I'm just on my way and I am about to kill it. <laughs> Stunning. This is beautiful. This is dramatic. This is everything in a look. Before we could jump into this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Turn that post notifications on so you know when I will be releasing this tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Let's get started. We need to prep the skin. Now I'm going to take my Georgette Clinger Marula Primer. I have very dry skin. So the products I use, primers, foundations, all of that is always going to target dry skin and be very hydrating. Give this a few seconds to dry. Now, usually I mix this with the Natasha Denona, which so that serum is my all star. In fact, I can't complete this look without it. So let me get it real quick. I wasn't gonna get it because I was being a little lazy, but this is a full glam. This is a fall super glam. So I got the Natasha Denona, the skin glass. So you see, this is what my skin looks like with just the bionic glow. <laughs> brows i'm using my micro brow pencil from nyx and it's in the color chocolate chocolate <laughs> brush these brow hairs into place so definitely going a little bit longer so this is where my brow ends but i want it to end right here and if I like it, I'm gonna keep it. Also, too, I have to bleach my brows, but I won't do that until it gets closer to my next vacation. So I'm gonna do the same. to take P. Louise base rumor four and clean up these brows if you don't have it concealer will work just fine and the brush I'm using is from Aesthetica it's just an angled brush I've had this for so long that P. Louise base and we're gonna take this little flat fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go in here and apply this all over the eyelid this is going to neutralize your eyelid color especially if you have hyperpigmentation on your eyelid and give you a clean canvas it's gonna be a dramatic look so we're gonna take it up to here I like to post my products on my hand instead of directly on the brush I feel like it just makes it easier to apply and you get to the, control the amount of product that you want on your brush. Okay, so I'm going to take my little eyeshadow shields. This look needs to be very clean and these guarantee that. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette and this is called Go Commando. I'll be using th this color. You know what I forget to do? Let me apply a little bit of setting powder and i know they say with the p louise you don't have to but i want to it's gonna be very light okay this is going to be what's the name of that again not the base the i forgot the name of that i'll find it later uh, it'll come to me going to take from my sheet in going to take brown sugar take this color devil food and we're just gonna go on really deep in this color We're gonna go in with these two colors. Okay, and we are 
just going to blend out that harsh line that was caused by devil's food take this color love cup love chip so going back in with that brush and the p louise base gonna soften up this little cut crease so we're gonna go back to the Shein palette and take this color fortune teller I'm going to lightly press it all here. And I am going to apply that shimmer all over here. I'm not super crazy about it. It does not, it looks kind of, it looks a little bit more ashy. I'm gonna bronze it up a little bit. There we go. to take a clean brush and I am going to just blend all here because again I don't want a clean I just don't want to see where the crease begins and ends you know we're gonna do a thick smoky eyeliner so let's take some black and we're gonna smoke it out so that's why you want to use a pencil and this is from wet and wild I think it's 99 cents. take this brown devil's food i'm gonna take this brush i got it from i think this is the one i got from when i went to the broner brothers so we'll take devil's food and i am going to blend out that black line focus is really just smoking this out I'm gonna take my NYX epic ink liner I'm going to draw a bold line because we smoked it out now I want to re-emphasize the liner a little bit just to really deepen that. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the lash glue and I'm applying it to my lash. Let it dry. Let me tell you, putting lashes on top of lash extensions. Let me let it dry. Let's take our black, draw this line here. 
take our brush. We'll take devil's food. And we really just want to smoke that out completely. <laughs> type of harsh line on there. I'm gonna take the She Glam foundation, the hydrating skin finite. This is in the color caramel. And we're gonna do the under eye, but I always like to do my under eye after my concealer and everything. I can't do it before. I don't know why. I just feel like when I do it before, the concealer and the foundation kind of ruins it. It doesn't make it, like it just cleans it up too much. So this foundation is really good and it's actually really cheap because you want to practice your makeup, do it with cheap foundation just to start off with. Then as you get better, you can go into, you know, the more expensive kind. But just to practice, I would get some Shein foundation. <laughs> So let's get the concealer. I'm going to be using the skin, the Dior skin corrector on this side. And then the inner, I'm gonna go in with the wet and wild hydrating on the inner corner. So let's take our Dior skin corrector. <laughs> dry for a little bit a few seconds i like to spray my mac setting spray just because that is going to allow the concealer to blend a lot easier also too it's going to set it and make this last <laughs> using is morphe does not have a number but i got it in the pro artist brush kit so we're going to go ahead and just blend this up This is the Patrick One Size Setting Powder. So I'm gonna take my Makeup by Mario Skin Sculpt in the color Dark. I love this stuff. It gives such a natural contour. Which I love because honestly, we want the focus to be on the eyes. blush is my favorite liquid blush take 
take some Dior and apply it over. Now we're gonna go in with these two because I wanna melt the blush. You see how it is a disconnect? Concealer and then blush, concealer and then blush. I wanna melt those two. Charlotte Tilbury. I am going to apply this just all over. So now it's time to work on the bottom eye. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild brown liner and with the line in the eyes. I am not going to wine line wine. I'm not going to line the waterline. I'm going to line right below that. That color double food and i just want to apply it where we put the eyeliner just to really deepen that i'm going to take a love chip we're going to take this little mini fluffy brush and i'm going to go underneath So now we're going to take that black eyeliner and we're going to line the waterline. For the lips, I'm going to take my MAC lip liner and this is chestnut. Take some MAC Myth Hot Chocolate Heat from Fenty Beauty The Gloss 